Hey y'all, Mid Morning Soul here. Kind of on the early side, I actually been up a little bit earlier, but we got another NG update, and this one is regarding the website. Now, if you type in this web address up here, accessgamescom slash NG, you're, well, first of all, you have to enter your date of birth, make sure you're over 17, 17 and older. But once you did that, you're greeted to this, right? This is the home page. Um, tells you how to pre order, what the physical media is available on. It's only PS4 and Switch, unfortunately. Uh, but it's available for Switch, PS4, PlayStation Vita, and Steam. Um, in my preceding videos, y'all, I failed to neglect that, or I failed to mention that Steam is a part of the lineup since um, Deathmark is also a part of the lineup. So my bad, y'all. I haven't forgot the PC gamers. But this is how the page pretty much looked. It says, Beware the Creeping Horror. NG is the second entry in the new Spirit Hunter series and the companion story to last year's award-winning horror adventure, Deathmark. Spirit Hunter NG. You see, this is what it was called beforehand, and then stateside we get the long title. Spirit Hunter NG follows the story of a cursed young man on a life-threatening quest to discover who or what is responsible for the disappearance of his little sister. To save her, our protagonist must team up with shady characters, face down spirits of legend, and make difficult decisions that can greatly alter the outcome of the game. Can you save your sister and stop evil from destroying all that you hold dear? Or will you find yourself just another victim of an angry spirit? Ooh. So, Creeping Horrors, Familiar Settings. While its predecessor, Spirit Hunter Deathmark, found its spirits in distinct, horrifying locales, Spirit Hunter and G weave fear seamlessly into the mundane. This is what I'm excited for. This is what I really like it's a not so typical horror setting so I'm really excited about that face down monsters in quiet residential streets neighborhood parks and even the protagonist's own home be careful terror lurks behind every corner and that is a pretty picture despite it being eerie it is pretty more than a visual novel, Spirit Hunter NG offers immersive, or immersive, excuse me, an exciting gameplay experience in which players must make decisions at key moments in order to survive. Players are offered a judge system, which allows them to respond to each event with a spectrum of disparate reactions. Oh, he looks so cute here! <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Um, like, the second from the left, that's his normal face. That's his, like, whatever, like, stank attitude face. And then, you know. This is, um, second from the right. It's like he's got this smart-ass look about him. But he looks so happy in the far right. <laughs> I can't stop looking at that one. It's so adorable. And of course, the polar opposite of his happy face. Good lord. My boy looking like he is having a heart attack, I guess. Well, that's cute. Search for clues. Use a flashlight to examine each location in order to solve the game's terrifying mystery. Watch out. You may unearth more than you've bargained for. And I'm guessing this is the first spirit. Because they plaster her. Well, that's not the case for Deathmark. 
um, Death Mark, they paraded the bride, like the crazy long armed bride. But the first um, spirit is some child with a bunch of roses on his face, or not face, but he looked jacked up. So I know, but I'm I'm assuming this is the first boss or the first spirit because that's who they're plastering all over. She's on the box art. She's on the um, promo art. So yeah, I don't know. That's my theory. Wow, that's a nice picture. I love the full moon in the background. Beautiful but deadly. The game features gorgeous illustrations from artist Fumia Sumio, who makes the terror in each character's face impossible to miss and renders horrifying spirits with stunning detail. Let me tell you something, y'all. The artwork is pretty much everything. In a visual novel, like... I believe this may be the same person with affiliated with Deathmark because of course the art styles are kind of similar. Um but NG um must have got an upgrade. So Yeah, the picture is very beautiful though. Like I don't know what Deathmark has um at the end, but I'm pretty sure like it doesn't pay attention as much as to background scenery as this game is. Um, so, you know, that's my opinion, or my theory. So, yeah. You were also greeted with where you could pre-order. I got it from Amazon, and I got the PlayStation 4 version. Am I worried about censorship? Yes and no, because um, you don't have to download the... Um, update patch from what I hear that's what causes the censorship in um death mark but I'm wondering if this is gonna be uncensored like that'd be awesome if that was the case um yeah so see here switch ps4 vita steam I'm so sorry steam Junkie, steampunks, I don't know what y'all call yourselves, but yes, you are loved and you are included in the NG in the NG um, release. So, this is what you were greeted with when you logged into this website anytime from conception of the website to about Thursday. You would probably wonder, well, what's so different? So they used all, well, they used, um, they added in four more um, parts of the website. It used to just say home by itself, but now we can click on others. And of course, like, um, it's not a direct sequel to Deathmark, so I don't have a problem going through. At first, I was hesitant, but then I forgot. Like, people were saying, this isn't a direct sequel to Deathmark, so we should be good. So, it's the same picture with the woman and the baby and the businessman. Gosh. Like, you know, a park, you wouldn't think it would look so eerie at night, but... Jeez Louise. It really plays up your fear. So, let me guess. Okay, well, I'm gonna. So, I guess it's going from. This is like a caption. So, this must be the Urashima woman. So, Urashima woman linked to Urashima Taru Folktale. The Yamato Shrine located near. Kisoji Station in the Shinzo Ward. Though loved by many as a place of peace and tranquility, a rumor is being whispered. 
At Urashima Lake, in the center of the park, it's said that the Urashima woman will appear if a rock is thrown into the water at midnight. They say she looks like a soaking wet pregnant woman. Whoever sees her will be found a few days later drowned with countless turtles covering their corpse. Wow, okay. Uh, okay, that last sentence I wasn't expecting. What does turtles have to do with pregnancy? Like, usually, well, the thing here in America is like, um, especially with my family, whatever, and a lot of like African American belief, like, fish is associated with pregnancy, not so much turtles. So, like, if somebody's dreaming, the thing is, if somebody's dreaming of fish, um, that means, like, somebody close to them is expecting a child. So, um, that's interesting that it's turtles. I can understand, if, like, like, a school of fish or a piranhas, even, whatever, <laughs> if you want to jack that up. But... Like, maybe a bunch of piranhas eat your flesh or whatever, but, I mean, turtles are pretty much harmless. I ain't gonna say totally harmless, because there are some snapping turtles, and, um, hmm. But, uh, maybe I'm looking too much into it. But, like, okay, at Urashima Lake, in the center of the park, the, the Urashima woman will appear if a rock is thrown into the water at midnight. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I thought she was just thick. She, she's pregnant. Okay, well. She got a little baby stroller. Yeah. But, her hair is covering her face, so I'm wondering, like, oh, God. Oh, God. It's like... If it's, like, Death Mark and, like, the spirit, whatever, creeps up on you, it's like, okay, when she really gets up on you, what's she gonna look like? Ugh, okay. Ooh. What the fuck is that on her head? His head? Her head? It looks like she has breasts, so... Okay, um, homeboy, I don't know, ain't nothing worth staying behind, being the only one staying behind. Oh, wait, he's not the only one. What the fuck? It's like, I don't know if y'all can see it, but back here, there is a person um, at the desk, too. So what, that person didn't see that, this creature thing? Okay, let's see. Killer Peach, linked to the Momotaru folktale. The large business building, Moon Tower, stands near Shinza Station. There have been rumors that peculiar murders have been happening recently. Witnesses say that the culprit has an odd appearance resembling that of a monkey, a dog, or a pheasant. Monkey, dog, pheasant. Uh, it looks like a monkey from here. I'm not really keen on um, animal studies. I wouldn't know what specific species, but it looks more like a monkey. So where are they getting dog and pheasant from? But whatever it is, it's got somebody's head in its mouth. That's gross. <laughs> Because the culprit's appearances match that of the followers from the story of Momotaru, people on the case and those spreading the rumors call it Killer Peach. Um, Peach, Momotaru, is it like? Okay, hold on. Taro, Taro. Um. I think Momo is Peach, isn't it? 
or I don't know. I don't know what Taru is, but both the Urashima woman and the Killer Peach share that Taru um, wording in there. So, yeah, y'all, let me know exactly, like, well, not exactly, but as best you can, <laughs> what exactly Taro translates to. Why does Killer Peach look that way? Why does it appear in the building, injuring and murdering the employees? Is the culprit human, or...? There are many other peculiar rumors floating in the dark corners of Shinza. Oh, story. So we get a little excerpt into story. Beware the creeping horror. 1999, Tokyo. A young girl goes missing. Triggered by that event, a young man finds himself dragged into a game of death. Spirits from what most believe to be urban legends and folklore slowly eat away at his cursed life, draining his common sense. Uh-oh. Don't hesitate. Logic isn't needed against them. Together with others like him who skirt the law, the young man clenches his fist and prepares to fight. Ah. So it's in like a smaller subsect of Tokyo. Okay. Shinza. Uh, I don't know where Kisoji Station is, but I think a ward is like a smaller area of the larger city. I could be mistaken, y'all, but please let me know. <laughs> okay, so that's the rumors tab. You get a little taste of story and a couple spirits that you may be facing off against. Well, here we are, y'all. This is our colorful cast. Um, you know, they're not gonna say anything like too, too, um, revealing though. Uh, homeboy, Seiji, what is wrong with your eyes? You didn't look like that. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I will say this though, I will say this. Whatever, because the thing just said, um, shady characters, so <laughs> I don't think there's much to be expected out of this cast and crew. But here we go, main character, Akira Kijima. And real talk, y'all, I'm probably going to leave the name as is when I do my playthrough. It's a nice sounding name. I mean, eh, not one for creative names. So, definitely for my first playthrough, we'll leave the name as is. So, he is Akira Kijima. A senior at Shinza High School, normally quiet and indifferent, he can be considerate of his friends and family. An infamous delinquent known for his fighting skill, his name's well known by others like him. Okay. <sighs> I I'm kind of like if this focuses on school life, I swear we have so many visual novels that focus on school life. I'm sick of it. Deathmark is going to be quite the relief because the pro tag is like a middle-aged dude. But they going back to high school, high school, high school, high school. Like, come on now. I like to, I like to see like college age or freaking, you know. Like, yeah, I mean, your protagonist does not have to be high schooler, but that's just me. Seiji Amano Ana. Aman, Aman, okay, Amanome. I think that's how you say it. Amanome. Gosh, please don't let me get tongue tied on his name. Okay, 
A senior at Shinza High School, best friends with the protagonist since childhood. A well-mannered young man with a dangerous side. He's the son of a current Yakuza boss of the Amanome, Amanome family. Oh, that was out of left field. The, he has no qualms about resorting to evil or illegal means to get what he wants. Hmm. Yeah, your face kind of tells us that. His specialty is collecting intel and using it for blackmail. Oh, what a nice guy. Stand-up guy. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, Yakuza. Okay, now we have Kaoru Hazuki. Ah, oh, she's a nice girl. She... But she got dead dirty. Oh, yeah, that's the girl. That's the girl that got dead dirty at the end of the trailer. Oh, no, we can't. We can't let that happen to her. Okay, okay. A junior at the private girls' school, Seishin High. Friends with Aunt Amy, Ami, Amy, Amy, whatever. The protagonist's sister. She loves researching ghosts and the occult. In spite of the more reserved air around her, she's quite strange. She's bold and fears nothing. She strongly favors gothic Lolita clothing. Oh, that's what that's called. Okay, gothic Lolita. Um, there's nothing really wrong with her compared to the first two. Like, you got a fucking delinquent and heir to a Yakuza... Um, Heir to the Yakuza throne, quote unquote. So there's nothing really shifty about her. But, oh, but damn, y'all. She gets did dirty with the freaking turtles. Like, she. Oh, so she gets got by the Yurishima woman? I hope that's like a bad end. I hope that's not like true, true. That would suck. She looks so cool. Naomasa Ban, a shrewd, shady journalist with an infamous reputation in the media industry. Being freelance, he knows a lot about journalism and editing, making him appear to be a reliable, experienced adult. His true nature is that of a middle-aged hoodlum who likes to rip off organization and the Yakuza using tips and stories he obtains through coercive interviews. My homeboy look kind of fresh to death, though, but of course there's something wrong with him. <laughs> Shrewd, shady, middle-aged hoodlum. Coercive. Okay. <laughs> All right. Journalists, you know, they're usually not um, looked at in a high regard when it comes to journalism. Mulan Rose, a magician. Her real name, age, and background are unknown. She's world famous, most known for escaping sinking ships and falling airplanes. Though she's, she talks in a refined manner, much like a gentleman, there's a mysterious air around her. She is interested in spirit cases and those who find themselves involved. Well, you're a pretty girl. Um, nothing really wrong with you either. What that you you don't know your well, we don't know her real name, age, and background. That's not really a bad quality, but okay. Um, well, girl, the fact that you're involved, I wonder if is she the girl that, um. The, the the one with the mouth things? I have to look at that, but that may be her, too. Yikes, if it is, you know? Um, yeah, you know, you're escaping sinking ships and falling airplanes, girl. You involved in the story, you're going to get done real dirty. Like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, you may have um, been able to do that, but... Um, the spirits will say otherwise. That's all I'm going to say. Natsumi 
Kijima, Amy's mother and the protagonist's aunt. She's the owner of the Black Rabbit bar near Kisuji Station and is a horror novelist. Of course you are. It's a horror game. Why wouldn't you not be a horror novelist? She doesn't often write, or that, she doesn't write often, but her works are quite popular. She's rather lazy about running the bar, and it's rarely frequented by customers. Known for her gentle demeanor, she always looks out for her nephew. Aww, auntie, not to me. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, she looks very, yeah, she looks very motherly. Of course, she's, like, freaking young, though. So... I wonder what happened to, um... Akira's parents, then. Oh, they probably died. That sucks. Amy Kijima. A fifth-year student at Shinza Elementary. She's the daughter of Natsumi, making her the main character's cousin. Though she calls him Big Brother. <laughs> Mature for her age, she helps her mom whenever she can. Aww, that's cute. Although, watch when she turns into a teenager, then say that again. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Your little Emoto chan, your little sister, even though you're cousins, really. Ah, uh, her little. Her little Oh, purse is so cute. It's so cute. The little cat purse. <laughs> Aw, okay, Amy. Uh, let's see. Mitsuru Maruhashi, a young member of the Amanome family, on their Shinza turf. He blusters with the expected big attitude. He tries hard, but makes a lot of mistakes. But his clown-like quality makes it hard to dislike him. Okay, bruh. I do like that they're, you know, drawing different body types. Like, we don't, everyone's not a stick or whatever. So, I mean, you know, don't know much about him, of course. Like, uh, well, he's the Yakuza. But he's like, um, whatchamacallit? the pledge quote unquote like the pledge equivalent like if it the yakuza were fraternity he's a new recruit there we go um new recruit like not fully in yet i guess that's what they mean by a young member but we'll see we'll see all right but um mitsuru maruhashi Reina, oh my god, Reina Oe, cause not Uui, <laughs> like that song. <laughs> Reina Oe, not the straightest cop. Oh, okay, she entered the department as a young elite, but her strong sense of justice and blunt honesty caused problems and isolated her from the other officers. Okay. Yikes, girl, what the hell are you doing? Not going in a straight line. But that's how some cops are. Um, Like, she'll probably, like, she does what she can to get the culprit, you know, I want to say the culprit detained and, like, fully arrested. So I guess, like, she'll try some underhanded tricks. Um... Of course, that's like a double-edged sword. So, you know, I can appreciate strong sense of justice and blunt honesty. But if you're doing that to accuse the wrongfully um, accused, then of course I'm not going to like that. But to nail somebody who is known to do... Um, said crimes then eh, I could see that it's not a black and white answer with me it's more shades of gray sort of deal but and she looked like she somebody pissed in her weedy so mm. 
It is what it is, I suppose, with Reyna. Okay. But we didn't see her. Oops. We didn't see her, um, like, you know, standing with the... I, I don't even think I remember seeing her in the trailer, period. But I don't remember her... Well, she definitely wasn't standing with the main five, so she's definitely a support character or an additional character, so that's it for the characters. But that's pretty cool that um, we got to know the characters, um, pretty much the major characters that are involved with the story. Media is let's see oh you get a nice um background paper although i would say that the mobile see yeah they keep plastering the urashima woman so i'm assuming that this is the the first boss but eh, i could be wrong because usually they'll have like the most content um because they try not to delve too far into the story so they have most of the promo content sent around the first um spirit case but the poster the let me see if i can i don't know but the poster the cover art box art whatever right here this would have made a better um phone cover in my opinion all right so media so that's nice they give you that uh we did the triple trailer reaction so pff, i'm not gonna look at this we got some screenshots y'all yep so here she is and yeah it looks like death mark but the guy is on his own okay Oof. Okay. I'm guessing this is the Urashima woman again or some crap. Come on, take that stupid mask off. Wait a minute. That's Maruhashi going off his clothes. And this was in the trailer. This was in the trailer. Oh gosh. With that little bit of blood trickling is something 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 good didn't happen <laughs> oh god so we he's dead we we can say he's dead or maybe not well we'll find out when we play it <laughs> oh okay yeah warning and the security guard is freaking creepy as hell. The guard's already close. What should I do? I freaking knock him out. <laughs> but the color scheme, you know what the color scheme reminds me of? Like Persona 4. Much, much different than um, Deathmark. Deathmark really didn't have that much color behind its scheme but yeah i mean when it comes to this i'd knock him out survival escape okay uh row this isn't good i'm drowning sinking into the deep dark water there go them damn turtles so the urashima woman got him well hold on why does this guy have gloves on I always wanted to know that. Why he, Why does he have gloves on? Mm. It's fun coming here, but it'd be even more fun if we lived together. Ah, uh, come on. His face is so precious here. Oh, it's like you must protect that smile. <laughs> he looks so adorable. And then he looks like... I should get the defibrillator ready over on the left-hand side. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> That's adorable. Okay. So that's it for the screenshots. And yeah, folks, if you want to buy it, like I don't even know why they put this on here, but yeah, you know, um, it's either from the Axis store or through Amazon. And, you know, I've already made the mention of, you know, the problem of the Axis store. You got to pay for shipping. Yeah, it's 20% off, but that doesn't mean squat. Um, and then Amazon, you know, if you're a Prime member, definitely invest in um, getting it at Amazon. Did you get that free Prime, free release date shipping? And it comes out Tuesday, October 10th. So, yeah, y'all. I will definitely do a playthrough of it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream it. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, but that is the new NG website. So, I'll leave it in the link in the description. And, folks, that is pretty much it for the updated website tour so excited for this game y'all um what i really love about this game and i hope that they don't fail is that um it's like finding horror in the mundane like places you know you frequent on you know a day-to-day -day, like a day-to-day -day basis you know, in the morning or at night, but at night is when the horror really comes to life. I think that is so cool, and, um, yeah, I can't wait. And then, um, yeah, folks, that's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day, but I figured... You know, since the Tokyo Game Show was going on, I didn't want to do a subsequent video um, while I'm trying to enjoy the press conference. But, yeah. Definitely wanted to get this out as soon as I woke up. And, um... i get this out to you, and... Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about NG. Um, unfortunately, there is no talks of Vita physical release or a collector's edition. So, and I've said this before, but, you know, just cementing it in now because we're pretty much less than a month away. Um, yeah, but that it is it what it is. Um, I'm just wondering when everything's said and done, I wonder... You know, if or when Volume 3 for the Spirit Hunter series is going to come about. Because, you know, just to stop at two volumes, that's, uh, I'm expecting many more volumes. And, um, if they're going to take the Final Fantasy approach or the non-connected um, sort of sequencing then hey that's all good it's all well and good but i choose to play the games in order all right y'all well thank you for watching take care um uh, y'all know my philosophy on youtube you know do what you wanna view what you wanna and folks i will see you in the next episode whenever that may be so until then bit morning soul signing off peace <laughs>